Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do an update for my serial, serial killer part of Japan. Um, and if you don't already know, there's two other people joining or in this part of Japan. I'll leave their Instagram down below. Um, go check them out, they're really amazing. Um, and I like the products that they picked. So this is um, a part of Japan where you pick four to five um, items or products that relate to a serial killer, either fiction or non-fiction. Um, and for me, I based it on real people, um, except for one product that I will show later. Um, but it's not supposed to be harm to any of the victims' families or friends or the victims themselves. Uh, it is really horrible and gruesome of what some of these serial killers do, and it's horrible. So I'm not mean to say that you know, I, I love serial killers. No, I mean, I like learning about serial killers, but not, I don't like have a love towards them. That makes sense. Um, but anyway, let's get into the products. And I do have one empty this month, and that is for the serial killer that I picked of uh, Charles Manson. Um, he was a cult leader, very horrible of what he made people do to, um, I think Sharon, or Shannon Tate, she was pregnant at the time, and that was just horrible. Um, so, um, also, forgot to mention, um, before I show the products, if you, uh, haven't seen the intro or the first update, I will leave them linked, uh, up there, probably. Um, and you can go check them out. I would highly recommend it, or else these won't really make sense. Although, kind of, I mean, eh, eh, um, just see the progress that I did on them. So, once again, this is for the um, serial killer Charles Manson. He, and I picked this because this is a cult favorite. Um, it's not the Elf Concealer, it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, and I put it in this container because. It doesn't really have an application to it, and I kind of like this for an application. But this is done. I'm not going to like scrape all of it, but like if you can see, probably can't, but I can like see the outside of it. And I'm calling it done. Um, I didn't, I really didn't like this. I mean, I noticed that when I tried my other foundation, this one had a nice, nice finish. I will say that it does have a nice finish. But for me, I have dry skin, so it looks really dry and cakey on my skin. But like from far away, it looks good. But then if you go up close, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I might repurchase it again. The shade that I picked out was a shade darker than uh, my skin tone. But so, I mean, it's, it's a good product. It's just for my skin type, I would not buy it again. Um, so yeah, that's one empty. <laughs> And, all right, on to the next ones. So, the next one is this Elf Hydrating Water Essence. I picked this for the, the Zodiac Killer. Um, and my Zodiac sign is Aquarius, and Aquarius is a water sign. So I picked something that's hydrating um, and has the word water in it. Um, I did finish up the Hydrating Booster Drops from Elf, because that was like a gimme product, so then I put this in. And obviously, I do not want to finish all of it, because this is a seasonal Pro Japan. Um, I think that it ends in next month, I want to say. Yeah, I believe so. Um, but I did make some progress on it. Um, I really do like this. I do. I like the smell. Um, it has infused with purified water, coconut water, and algae, if I'm saying that right. Um, but it's definitely like a lotion, but it, it's not like a, th it's not thick, it's just, it's kind of like that between thick and thin. Um, but I really do like it. I use it after I use my clarifying lotion from Clinique. Um, and I just use a cum ball and just dab it around my face. So yeah, I really do like this. Uh, but I know that I will definitely not finish this. But if I just get some progress on it, I will be happy. And I did make some progress, so I'm happy about that. Um, 
but if you guys don't know about the Zodiac Killer, I really don't know much about him either. All I know is that he's still out there, and I don't know if he kills people based on their Zodiac signs or on his. I don't know much about him, um, so I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> All right, and the next one, or the last product, um, is this Ciate London Wonder Wand, I believe. Yeah, Wonder Wand Gel Coal Liner in black. And that's how much I have left. It is not much. I could probably finish this in two months. I mean, I would be happy if I could finish it um, for the finale of this project, but probably not. Probably get really close, but not finishing it but I really do like this it is so I mean I like gel liners and this is really pigmented um, and I have it on today um, and then just lipstick because I, I really didn't want to put on a full face of makeup um, but I really do like this and I'll show you the progress line which I was actually surprised by how much I used this month so from number one, I don't know if it's going to, uh, and number two is where it's at currently, right there. So um, from making it from the, this mark to this mark, that is a huge progress. Um, I mean, I was really shocked about that. But yeah, I really do like it. And oh, forgot to mention, this uh, product is for the serial killer. Um, from Scream because um, I love that movie I love the series or the not the TV show but like the movie series I will say that the first movie is the best one out of all of them it's more humor in it um, yeah I really do I mean it had, Scream is like that funny scary movie so I do like it for that reason but yeah I also do like this uh, pencil eyeliner and those are the products for my Studio Killer Project Pan. Um, once again, I'll leave uh, the other ladies that are involved in this down below with their Instagram. I believe one of them has a YouTube channel. I'll leave her YouTube channel down below. Go check them out. They're amazing. Um, if I haven't said that enough already. But yeah, uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.